That's it. You don't need to press the hold. Is it going? I don't think so. It's recording. No, there's no red dot. Red light on oh, your right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> my mon dieu. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, hi guys, welcome back to another video on our channel. Um, it's been such a long time and um, this is actually a second take. <laughs> okay. We wanted to record a video um, and do a live quiz about our love languages. <laughs> and we're using our phones because it was easier to just be sitting here and talking to you guys and... It didn't work. So we went all the way through the whole quiz and then it didn't give us Sit the, back, the score. Yeah. Um, but uh, maybe nice to tell is that it was actually my sister who suggested uh, to make a video. So she sent me the quiz and yeah. said it would be interesting or she would be interested to hear our what our love languages are. Yes. Yeah. Um, so shout out to my sister for suggesting a video. Yeah. We are very democratic. We will always listen to the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, we're going to take the quiz live and then determine what each other's love language is and talk yes. a bit about it. And we're doing it on our computers. Yeah. So this time, hopefully, we'll get a result. Yeah. Yeah. I want to sit okay. here. So maybe good to explain that anybody can take the quiz. So it's for couples, singles, teens, and children. Which is what we find or we found strange, but I guess it makes sense. Children are people too, so. Yes, children are people too. <laughs> so we're going to take the quiz. Yeah. One person is going to read and we're going to answer and then take turns yeah. in reading and answering and then later find out what our love language is and then we can talk a little bit about it. Yeah, and we'll put the link of the quiz in the description so you can... Also check it out for yourself. Yes. With your partner or even individually, you can just check it out for yourself and know what your love language is. And we also think that um, knowing the love language of somebody makes it easier to love the person. It's stronger knowing that, you know, this is what the person appreciates or find important yeah. in, you know, being loved. So, yeah. Start the quiz. Start the quiz. First, how do you describe yourself? Uh, I think I'm taking the quiz for my child. You're an adult. Shit, okay. Let's go. <laughs> um, I am single. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm single. I'm in a relationship. Oh, is yours also not loading? It's loading. Mine's loaded. My god, oh. <laughs> this quiz. My loaded. So, one second, one second. I am an adult <laughs> in a relationship. Okay. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a loving note, text, email for no special reason from my loved one or my partner and I hug? Um, I think I love the special text for no reason. Same. Let's go. Um, it's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with my partner, just the two of us, or my partner does something practical to help me out. I want alone time. I like the practical things to help me out. <laughs> It's more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a little gift as a token of our love for each other. I get to spend under uninterrupted leisure time with my partner. Hmm. I'll go for un uninterrupted leisure time. Mm. Is that with or without clothes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody's <laughs> on fire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Um, my partner gives me a little gift or a token. Well, the gift can also be without clothes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> slow down. Um, Why is this one difficult for you? The leisure time, I, I often want to be present. Like when we're talking about what men actually wish women knew, I can be there with you and still be on my phone. I just love you being there. So I go with the token as a gift. Okay. Here. Um, the uninterrupted is a bit too much for me. It's more meaningful when my partner unexpectedly does something for me, like filling my car <laughs> with fuel. Yeah. <laughs> you really like that when I do that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> or doing the laundry. My partner and I touch. Please. Do oh, doing the laundry, I really like. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, it's more meaningful to me when my partner puts their arm around me when we're in public. 
oh, my partner surprises me with a gift. I think I'll go with a <laughs> gift. No, public arm. Okay, you never do that, so I think I'll go for the gift. Wow, my God. <laughs> the shade. Wow. Okay. Um, when uh, It's more meaningful when I'm around my partner, even if we're not really doing anything. That's your favorite. Yep. I hold hands with my partner. I'll go for the hands. I'll go with when we are around each other and not doing anything. It's more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a gift or I hear I love you. I'll go for I love you. I love you, man. you yeah. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to my partner or I'm complimented by my loved one for no apparent reason. I'm Sitting gone. close to my partner is almost... It's normal. Yeah, <laughs> so complimented for no reason, yes. I'll go for sitting close. Um, it's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out. I don't know what this means, <laughs> hang out yeah, with my partner. Like naked, so. I unexpectedly get small gifts. I'll go for the hangout anyway. Yeah, just hang out, you know. <laughs> um, it's more meaningful to me when I hear my partner tell me I'm proud of you or my partner helps me with the task. I like that I'm proud of you. Me too. Yes. Uh, it's more meaningful when I get to do things with my partner or I hear supportive words. I'm going for the things, man. Let's go to do something together. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know what thing with my partner is. Sometimes it's, we clash in doing things <laughs> together. So I like supportive <laughs> words and do my own thing, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's more meaningful when my partner does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Well, that's a bit weird. Yeah. If you talk about nice things and never and do, do it, it that's, then that's yeah. weird. I feel connected to my partner through a hug. So I think I'll go with my partner does the things for me instead of just talking about it. Yeah, I still find it a weird statement. Yeah, a bit weird. <laughs> who has a partner who only talks about nice things but I'm, never yeah, does I'm it? I'm going to do this and then I'm going to like, what the hell? Okay. Mm, it's more meaningful to me when I hear praise or my partner gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. Yeah, uh, praise is not something I crave. So when you give me something that shows yeah, you really thinking about me, because it's not like this is going to be like a car or something. We wish. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around my partner or get a back, back rub or massage. <laughs> no, just be around. I'll go for the around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's more meaningful to me when my partner reacts positively to something I've accomplished or my partner does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy that one. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't want to enjoy that when you do Positively, reacting positively to something I've accomplished, yeah, yes, I agree. feels good. Like you celebrate together. Yeah, feels good. Mm. It's more meaningful to me when my partner and I kiss frequently or I sense my partner is showing interest in the things I care about. I want to kiss, man. Yeah, okay. Show interest in the things I care about. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more meaningful when my partner works on special projects What's with me. What's that slurping sound? <laughs> Is that how you kiss? <laughs> the hell? Um, my partner... Uh, it's more meaningful to me when my partner works on special projects with me that I have to complete. Or my partner gives me an exciting gift. I think working on special projects with you that special I Special projects. Yeah, I'll take that. Any day. Especially when these projects bring in the money. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when <laughs> I'm complimented Sorry. by my partner for my appearance or they take time to listen to me and really understand. Yeah, understand I've my feelings. Understand, please. Yeah. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when my partner and I share non-sexual touch in public. <laughs> Oh, Sorry. my partner offers to run errands for me. I think I'll take errands. I'll do the same. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when my partner does a bit more than their normal share of the responsibilities we share around the house. Or a gift. Yes. Mo do more. more do more when you can. Do more when you can is nice. Yeah. It's always nice. It's more meaningful to me when my partner doesn't check their phone while we're talking. A ding, 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 ding. Or my partner goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure of me. Uh, release pressure. I'm going for you the can, phone. You can be on your phone, I don't care. I care. Please do not be on the phone. 
uh, it's more meaningful to me when I can look forward to a holiday because of a gift I anticipate receiving. Ah. I, I don't get that statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is the gift a holiday? Because that... I like receiving I, it, yes. Or I, when I hear the words, I appreciate you from I'll my take, partner. I'll take appreciate you. I don't get the other statements, so I'll go it. for appreciate. Yeah. Uh, it's more meaningful when my partner brings me a little gift after they've been traveling without me. <laughs> <laughs> that never really happens to me. Well, you brought me a small guinea fowl. That was really cute when you went to Tamale. A keychain. Yeah. Don't say small guinea fowl like it was alive. <laughs> it was an alive guinea fowl and I have to no. prepare it. A keychain. <laughs> My partner takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed. Oh, that's I'll one. go with that one. My love has been stressful, people. Yeah. Um, it's more meaningful. To, am I the reader now? Because please it's go It's more ahead. meaningful to me when my partner doesn't <laughs> interrupt me while I'm talking. Oh, uh, <laughs> gift giving is an important part of our relationship. There. No, Don't doesn't interrupt. interrupt. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. It's more meaningful to me when my partner helps me out when they know I'm already tired or I get to go somewhere while spending time with my partner. I like going somewhere, man. You are not liking going somewhere. <laughs> I'm not like a going somewhere person, so help me out when you know I'm really tired. It's more meaningful to me when my partner and I are physically intimate. <laughs> My partner gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. Well, I'm going for physically people. Yeah. Own your truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can make it from the beginning. So. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when my partner says something encouraging to me or I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby with my partner. <laughs> we don't have shared I hobbies. But we do stuff together. Yeah, okay. I'll also go for activity. Yeah. I, uh, I like it or I'm more meaningful when my partner surprises me with a small token of their appreciation. My partner and I touch a lot during the day. No. no we don't do that. Um, it's more meaningful to me when my partner helps me out, especially if I know they're already busy. And then you go. I hear my partner specifically tell me I appreciate you. This is a repeat, but... Mm -hmm. um, I'm more likely not to help you out if I'm already busy. So, yeah, especially if I have... <laughs> so it's just a reality that it won't happen. <laughs> it might not happen. It's, it's not real to me that if I'm especially busy, I'll still... Maybe helping you out here is maybe, okay, you came home while I was editing something and I still get up and take the uh, stuff from you. I will you. go for the busy. Uh, yeah, and take places. the stuff from you. If that's the thing, yes. But I'm not going to stop my work and then do something completely different. Okay. <clears throat> it's more meaningful to me when my partner and I embrace after we've been apart for a while. Yeah, that's nice. Or I hear my partner yeah, I like say the first how much one. I Don't mean even read to the second one. Yeah, I like the first one. The people, the people need to know. Oh, I have the same thing. Oh, okay, no. Oh, I thought it was breaking down again. No. Okay. So, uh, we need to share, maybe in we'll the share. edit, you can share what we've seen, we are seeing now. So we need, we need to, to print screen it. Yeah. Okay. So what do you have? Share with us. So I am 33% act of service. Uh -huh. That's my top act of service is my top. Um, 23% of uh, words of affirmation. Um, quality time is my third love language at 23 percent also so words of affirmation and quality time are on the same level physical touch is only 10 percent and receiving gifts is only 10 percent so my love language is actually acts of service yeah maybe you can explain what acts of service is when somebody so acts of service has been at the top um here it says can vacuuming the floors really be an expression of love Absolutely. Anything you do to ease the burden or responsibilities weighing on an, a loved one is acts of service. So the words um, he or she, the words he or she most want to hear is, let me do that for you. And that laziness is broken. Mm. Yeah. And then laziness, broken commitments and making more work for them tells speakers of this language their feelings don't matter. Finding ways to serve speak volumes. Okay. So, and then what's this? Oh, you are gonna read some books. Okay, good. Yeah, so acts so, of service is my love language. Can I challenge this? I don't know. I'm not sure. I Maybe am it is. sure. Maybe you can put your computer away because it doesn't look nice. <laughs> okay. 
extra surface. It doesn't look nice. Um, should I read mine first or you want to respond first? No, you, you read yours. No, first. you read yours first. Okay. So mine is surprise, surprise, quality time. That's not we surprise. already knew it's that. It's not surprise, surprise, yeah. Then acts of service is 22%, but that's probably because I'm a bit stressed at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so does that also count that maybe in the time you're taking the quiz? Or yeah, in, I in, think so. You've gone through a period mm -hmm. where, I mean, the last few months have been quite hectic and your partner helping you out has been yeah. good. So you are more inclined to take those answers. Yeah, and then acts of service, 22%. Words of affirmation, 17%. Physical touch, 17. I do really like physical touch, though. And... No, let's do this one. We are not shooting. He's going to <laughs> send the form to himself. So that I can well, have it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we do it. And physical touch, 17. And then receiving gifts, 10%. But the funny thing is, for me, I really like to give gifts. But when I receive them, I don't know what to do with myself. So it's funny, right? So receiving gifts, it's, it's true that it's the last thing. It's yeah. not your favorite thing. Okay, so quality time, what does it mean? Nothing says I love you like full undivided attention. Being there for this type of person is critical, but really being there with the TV off, fork and knife down and all chores and tasks on standby. <laughs> Makes your significant <laughs> other feel truly special. Distractions, postponed dates, or the failure to listen can especially hurt, be hurtful. Quality time also means sharing quality conversations and quality activities. Well, that's nothing new. I think that was one of the things we really had to get used to. Yeah. Because I feel um, undivided attention in Ghana is <laughs> a bit diff difficult to get because you will always get a phone call or something is happening message. outside and there's a lot of noise. There's always so many uh, activities Activities uh, get grabbing your attention. So I think that was something that you also had to learn. And he's saying that we're gonna get dinners where we leave our phones uh, like on the side, but that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear that, what? Hmm. Yeah, so we'll, we'll work on that anyway. But uh, I think acts of service for me, like I know you are acts of service, but I really had to get, uh, I had to read it as a love language because first I just thought you were doing chores or He's like, oh yeah, let me drop you off. And then I'm like, I can take a bolt. Like, no, don't be silly. Yeah. But then he's like, no, no, I want to drop you. And I'm like, oh, you don't have to drop me. You can take a bolt. <laughs> 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 so you really want to do it. Yeah. Um, but it's also nice. I just want to take care of the person. Yeah. But sometimes it's, it feels a bit functional. Yeah, wow, but it's, it, but so it's, I had to learn that it's not only functional. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a not only, Yeah, it's not only functional to yeah. me. And when I'm doing these things, um, it comes easy. I don't feel it. I don't feel like I'm. Yeah. Doing something out of my comfort zone. Or yeah. So going for out of me, my way to do anything, doing chores or tasks, that's very functional. So in my brain, it's like function. It's yeah. not love. So I had to rewrite, repattern that a little bit. <laughs> Right? And no, it's, it's still not like complete. <laughs> so let's just... I am a work it's, in progress, yes, okay? We're still, we're still working on it because... Yeah, I think we'll do a separate video on chores and some of these things. But yeah. Yeah. It's but one, of the, yeah. one of the things that we do like clash But I on. think it also really relates to how you have been brought up. Because for us as a family, we would have really have like brunch and everybody would talk about their week. Yeah. How are you doing? What are you going to be up to? All these things. And also with dinner time, we would do that. And chores would have just been chores. Like, you do this, you do that. And it's purely functional. Yeah. It's just something that is required but, of you. But for, for us, it's much more like, um, yeah. I'd rather clear the table. And everybody, don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. I think I had to learn that. But now I am, think I'm, I'm growing in yes. it. 
also, so Kwame's mom is here now. So now I really enjoy making your tea or a cup of tea in the morning, then bring it. You know, yeah. uh, I am getting there. It's not something that goes purely natural. But, so, um, so I think it would be also good to um, do a video on how our cultural differences yeah. have, you know, how we've navigated our cultural differences living together. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah. I, want, I want to add something and now it's gone. Oh no, it flew away. Um, oh yeah, I think with the acts of service, so before it was purely functional, so like this side of my brain, yeah. but now it's also something I'm learning that I am, it's okay to ask if you're not managing. So for example, with sometimes I'm really like focused on work and there's a lot I need to already do. And it's okay to ask him, like, could you please get the laundry for me? Or, um, yeah, like, it's okay to ask yeah. these things. Yeah. And at first, you wouldn't. I would not, because how I grew up, if you couldn't do your task, that's not good. Like, you'll get not punished, but it would be nice. Yeah. And now I'm learning that it's okay to share. And of course, if I'm lazy, he will tell me, like, please. You were lying on the couch, you could do laundry. But... No, but then that, that, nev that almost never happens, actually. No, I'm not really lazy in a way. And, and also, me doing it, I don't... Unless I'm doing something else completely and then I have to stop and go and do it, then different. But me doing it when I'm not doing anything, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me, so no. I don't really mind. And, yeah, I think... It's nice that I can ask. Like, I'm allowed to ask you and you will tell me yes or no whether you are up for it. So I can trust that yeah. if you don't want to do it, you'll tell me. Oh, yeah, I will tell you if I don't want to do it. Yeah. I'm straight But I like think that. I also, on, on the other, uh, to talk in my uh, defense on quality time, I think I also taught you a lot on quality time. Oh, I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm still learning. Because you, you have... Uh, like your monkey mind sometimes takes over and then there's a lot happening yeah. and then I'm able to say, okay, let's sit down, so let's a butterfly. eat. Yeah, butterfly, monkey mind. And stop on different yeah. things. I'm constantly... And one of the things I, we, I really, uh, how to say, put you out of your comfort zone was with the traveling. So when we go a weekend away, that was something really new for you. Yeah. I mean, you've traveled, but more to see family and like, other things not to so here here travel for us is more functional you're going to a place you're going to visit family you're going for yeah, a specific so you're reason you're talking about Ghanaians right yeah mostly yeah. travel is not leisure I think it's now picking up yeah now this people whole culture are really exploring. of travel for leisure for the sake of it is now picking up yeah yeah I think yeah I, and also going out for dinner and having a moment just you know have a beer together talk about the week eat some nice food I'm not sure if that was really in your system already before we met. I don't think so. Maybe to a certain extent, but... Yeah, not so much. Yeah. It, it's grown, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's so, nice. yeah, you guys can also try your hands on your love language. And I think it's very important to know who... I have one more story. Oh. You have one more story? <laughs> Will you finish? I think it's more important to know your love language, know who you are, know how to be loved, and not feel like you're disturbing the other person or your partner by telling them yeah. what you appreciate the most. And how you also say it also matters. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask because for me, the quality time also really translates into my friendship. So when I meet up with my girlfriends, like for coffee, we are one on one and I want to know all about your life. But for you, how does it translate into your friendships? With quality time? No, with acts of service. Um, do you let people do things for you? I, I'm not sure. No, I, I do when um, it's within the... Uh, um, for example, when mom came here at first and I made a will oh, yes, she bring, came with bring me uh, food cake because cake. she was on her way. Yeah. I wouldn't go out of my way to send you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. go here to pick something for me. No, if it's on your way, if it's within your yeah, 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 yeah. 
yes, then I, I do accept it, yes. Yeah. But I think it's rare. It's like, rare, That yeah. you let people do things for you. Yeah, it's rare. So it's even more special when you let me do things oh, for yeah. you. Yeah, right. <laughs> so... Okay, no, I have one more story. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's actually about this dress. So this dress is a good example of acts of service because there was one morning um, and uh, I just came out of tea meeting Monday morning and I was just chilling because Monday is my working from home uh, day. day and I was like, oh, just chilling. I have another meeting at 11, but that one will be virtual. And then I got a call from my colleague like, uh, oh, are you on your way? And I was like, <laughs> I'm not on my way because I thought it was virtual. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, error, 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 error. Like everything went like, oh my, oh my, oh my. So I ran out into the living room. And I'm like, I have a meeting in 10 minutes. And then I ran back because I was like, no, I'll just make it virtual. Don't worry. And then I ran back at the living room like, can you drop me? <laughs> because I know he's really fast in the car. And I was like, are you, are, you, are you telling people that I drive like a maniac or what? No, you are telling them now, so that's not on to me. <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, and he was like, okay, yes, we can do it. So he dropped everything he had to do and he wanted to drop me uh, at that particular place. And we were there only 15 minutes later, so it was like uh, a miracle. Because we, we did leave. Immediately. Yeah, but leaving immediately also meant that we left on the uh, time the meeting was supposed to happen. Yeah, so we left at 11 when the and I texted them that I would be a bit later and they were fine. So I was like, yeah. okay, cool. So I went to the meeting. I was like, okay, slay. So I slayed the meeting. Yeah. And then um, I texted him again when it was done. Like, okay, it went well. Thank you so much. And then uh, I came home and he was like, and I was wearing this dress. And he was like, yeah, I'm happy you worked out. Uh, but I have to say, this dress is really see-through. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to bring it up at the yeah, time. Yeah, so he didn't want to bring it up because he didn't want to stress me out. Yeah, you're but already apparently, panicking. apparently, you can see uh, what underwear I'm wearing, like what color. Yeah, because <laughs> you, you, she was already panicking. I didn't want to say that, oh, you might want to change your... That would have been another, like, 20 minutes of... 20 minutes are really fast, but it would have added to already the stress, the stress yeah. of... So I just allowed it to, to go. Getting, um, so it's a nice um, act of service. Yeah. Do not tell me and just drop everything you wanted to drop because you really could see I'm like in error, error, error mode. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's a nice expression of your love language. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think we should stop it here. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, um, it would be nice to know what your love language is. And like I was saying before, let your partner know whoever you're going to be in a relationship with. Even if it's family, they should know what makes your... Um, Clock tick. Yeah, so that yeah. they know how to... But I'm also curious to know if people find it useful or not. Because for us, it clearly differs. Um, but is that a problem? Yes or no? Uh, is, it, is it a helpful No, I don't think it's ever... A, well, a problem. maybe people find it a problem. You don't know. Because so, for me, knowing your differences, knowing makes for learning. Yeah, learning that's makes true. for being better. Yeah. So if you know and it rather um, you see it as, oh my God, no, I can't do this with this person because they like gifts or because they like acts of service, and that's your boom deal breaker. Instead of yeah, trying to learn, yeah, but that's people. Instead of trying to learn, come on. Yeah, that's your unless, approach. But yeah, maybe unless, other the, unless the have... person who has maybe, for example, uh, gifts as their uh, love language is the kind of person who demands specific type of gifts that are within, not within your financial means. Yeah, so, but there is a possibility that you cannot uh, live up to what the other person would want. Like, if I so would be, I, I, like, 100% yeah. physical touch and you only have 10% and you never touch me, I'll crumble. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, it is, like, for us, we, we try to make it, how you say, compatible. Yeah. But if somebody is really physical touch and the other person is, like, I am not like that, then... Is there, is there, is there a possibility that there's somebody who is, like, 100% out of all the things that... 
happen here. I don't think anybody I can be... I only want gifts. <laughs> I don't think anybody can be But in Ghana, in Ghana, especially when you're dating, the gifts thing is a thing, right? It depends on the person, honestly. Okay, okay. I thought it was a thing. No, it depends Don't on the you? person, honestly. But, like, buying dinner as a guy is really a thing, right? But that's a cultural thing. It's not an individual thing. But it can be part of receiving gifts. But I'm saying it's still a cultural thing. It, I don't consider it as a love that's... language. Yeah, it's but, a... I mean, the culture is intertwined in your love language, right? Mm, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it can still be... That would be interesting if we could ask couples all around the world to do it and then we analyze <laughs> really that would be so whole... cool yeah but like you said culture ha plays a role yeah so it would be cool to see in maybe different parts of the continent or different continents maybe in america you see that maybe acts so... of service is more yeah or you see that in europe people prefer more quality time you, it becomes something that's like a, a trend. Yeah, and maybe in the, the more maybe it would be really funny that in the cold countries they're not they don't like uh, physical touch, or maybe they do because they have to stay warm. Together, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really cool, right? Yeah. That you can. Oh, the temperature is rising, so less physical touch. It's too sweaty to touch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This went on to all other level. Um, if somebody is interested in setting up the research, let us know. <laughs> it would be really cool. Um, for now, I think we leave it at this. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to read the comments. We do read the comments. So if you have a suggestion for a video or you have an, another interesting insight, um, I would really like to read it. For now, I think we wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> like, for subscribe, <laughs> become a member. Um, a member of what? <laughs> a member of our fan club. <laughs> fan club we don't have a fan club but just subscribe to our channel and yes. follow our subscribe journey follow would, our would, journey would full that. of quality time and acts of service <laughs> okay that's enough <laughs> bye bye subscribe bye. to the channel if you already haven't done that and yeah peace out peace out <sighs>